Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pam. I'm from Pamela's Creations. And I'm here to do Tea Time Tuesday. This is an open collaboration started by Life with Patty and Kathy's at Kathy's Favorite Things. And Hey Aim channel. I believe that's what her channel is. Um, started doing the tea time thing. And so I'm not sure exactly when she did it and what days, but um, it, that's where it began. So I'm going to link all three of those channels down below so you can go check them out. This is an open collaboration, so you can jump in, you can jump out, you can talk as long as you want, whatever you want to do. Um, that's why I like it. Just make sure you put hashtag, hashtag Tea Tuesday on there so they can find you and watch you. So what am I drinking today? I don't have... A big tea selection so I am doing this one here apple and cranberry and I am drinking out of this cup which is my sister's cup and she she wanted me to drink out of it so yeah I am working with a new little tripod um, so I can do face to face talks and um, yeah so that is my goal. Sorry for the ring light shining um, in my face. If I turn on the light behind me, it is really bad. So, so you just drink your tea and you chat and discuss things. And, you know, I thought it was a lot of fun. So I wanted to give it a shot. This is my second time doing it. So in my last video, I had mentioned if there's anything you want me to discuss or talk about, you know just let me know so I can and do that and when somebody one of my subscribers has been with me for a while she gave me some questions um, to answer so she says what's your favorite item to crochet and my favorite item to crochet is headbands shawls and scarves and hats those to me are extremely simple to make and I like making ponchos too. And then she said, the next question, do you have grandchildren? I have three grandbabies, all under the age of six. Um, Freya is the youngest and she is four. And um, Krios is six and Osiris is five and that's their names. Krios, Osiris, and Freya. And they are the my loves of my life. I honestly didn't know having grandchildren what they would do or how they make you feel. And it's 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 a blessing. The people that have grandbabies out there, you all know what a blessing it truly is to have them in your life. I wouldn't know what to do without them. <laughs> So, and then she says, do I have any pets? I have, I don't have any pets. My daughter has a little chihuahua, half chihuahua, half pug. And that is her baby. And uh, she's getting older. So I kind of love on her. And, um, but I don't have any more dogs. And um, right now we're not in a position to have dogs right now. So no pets besides my daughter. Do you work? I did. I did work at Walmart for over 16 years. And I was on the leave of absence starting in 2019. Yeah, 2019. And then in June of 2020, they let me go. And because I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't work anymore. So they just let me go. And, um... Then she asked me, what craft have I been doing the long, longest? What, oh, what craft have you been doing longer? Crochet. So the story with crochet is that um, my mom was a crocheter and a sewer and a knitter. Okay. Um, my mom can sew. My, my mom sewed my daughter's wedding dress. So she's a great sewer. And she tried to teach me crochet when I was younger, and I did a little bit, not much. And then in 
2015, I decided that I was feeling like I needed to do something to get my mind off things because there was a major death in the family in 2014 and it kind of just went downhill for me. And so um, in 2015, I learned to crochet and the first person I learned to crochet picked up and to learn more about crochet was um, Crystal from Bag Day, which a lot of crocheters know who she is. So she's the one and um, Bella Coco. Those are the two that I followed at first for crocheting to help me learn more about crocheting. So I've been doing that the longest. I started doing jewelry making shortly after that. And then uh, paper crafts and everything followed behind so I've been only doing paper crafts for maybe a year or so I haven't been I feel like I'm a rookie still there's a lot to learn you know and there's other crafts that I'm trying to learn out there so I'm hoping to get that picked up soon I'm hoping knock on wood collaging is one of them making jerk junk journals I want to learn that um, I do resin I just started picking that up, up in 2020, so I'm pretty fairly new to that. Uh, late 2020, I should say. Um, diamond painting I've been doing for a couple years, but that's really easy to do. It's it's not hard. And um, I like Shabby Chic. I love Shabby Chic. Uh, really getting into that. And altering items, um, learning and getting into that lodging, you know, things like that. I've been learning. So that's where I'm at there. Um, so I've been doing crochet the longest. What else did she say? Do I travel? No, I don't travel. Um, me and my husband um, don't. Uh, it's a long story, but um, which I'll get into another day, but our life was kind of controlled by somebody. So I couldn't, you know, really travel. So me and my husband are finding ways to do that. Um, so this person hasn't, you know, been in our life. She passed away in 2014. So we're just trying to, we're, we're learning again. And it's it's a long it's complicated, um, but I'm hoping I can get into that so I can be upfront and real with you guys, right? I don't want to be like I try not to put my personal life out there, but at the same time I want to be real. If that makes sense, yeah. So I would like to travel uh, a lot. Um, my dream is to get in a motorhome and travel the United States. I want to travel and see everything in the United States, you know. And then she said, how did you start crocheting? So basically in 2015, this, the person I was talking about passed away and, and uh, it caused some, a little bit of PTSD, I guess, and some other stuff that... I now have um, so crocheting was a I thought it was a cheaper way and a way to learn to crochet you know it's like and I started watching crochet um, channels and I'm thinking I can do that and you know it's easy I love it it's relaxing to me you know it's one of my favorite crafts and then you know, and these other crafts that I'm doing, I'm, I'm enjoying it now too. Paper crafting at first was a little intimidating for me, <laughs> but I'm, I'm learning every day with all these channels, you know, that I'm, I'm with now. And, and a lot of these channels I've been with for over a year. So, and they've taught me a lot. They have taught me a lot. And I watch tutorials. I love finding new things to learn and thinking, hmm, can I do that? You know, give it a shot. Sometimes I fail, sometimes I do, you know. It's a it's a learning tool for me, you know. So those are the questions that my subscriber sent me. I hope that answered her questions. 
Um, so another thing I'm trying to do to get people to, to do is um, I'm going to show you here if you can see. These are Memdex, uh, not Memdex, um, ATC cards. I have a total of four. This is this is um my um i have one let's see two these are my pocket letters so there's one there's a mini pocket letter that someone sent me and this was a swap that, I, that someone sent me here at easter one but i have th a total of four etc cards and i'm trying to get more people to trade with me and if you don't know what ATCs are, they're artist trading cards, and they're usually three and a half by two and a half, and so they can fit in a baseball card size envelope. And um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get more of these ATC cards. I really, really would love to have them, and you don't have to be a paper crafter um, to do ATC cards. You can. Um, like a playing card, for instance, like a, you know, a cards, just regular deck of cards. Like, I'll show you one, for instance, that someone sent me. Her name is Rosemary, you rock art, and she is a fabulous crafter. I adore her. So this card here is just a playing card, and she just altered the playing card. And she put her info on the back. Um, she put her YouTube channel, what her favorite... Um, things are as purple music crafting and YouTube and um, She was born in March and You put those type of things on there your email if you want like with me. I on mine. I put my email yeah. And my favorite foods or what I like to eat drink uh, Favorite crafts to do things like that, but this is just a playing card It's really simple. I would love to have someone send me one so I can send them one back. I love making them. They're a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and if you don't want to do a, uh, that, you could just send a playing card. Just a regular playing card with your, you know, information on the back. It's really easy. You could just put some washi tape over the card and put some stickers on it. I would love to have people's um, Trading cards. You can be a crocheter and do this, you know, and I would send you one back. It, it, it's, it's, it's great. It's a lot of fun and I enjoy doing it. I just would like more people to send me some so I can send them some back. But if you're interested, let me know and I would love to send you one. Um, matter of fact, I'm in the middle of making one right now for uh, Jovi, creating with Jovi. Uh, she's having a I'll link that video down below if you're interested, but she's having a 1,000 giveaway. She hit her 1,000 Which is awesome, and I'm so proud that she got there and she totally deserves it because she is a Extremely awesome crafter. She is I Cannot say more about her. She <laughs> she's taught me a lot about collaging and I'm just yeah, and I'm going to be getting into that but I think I'll be making that and I will show that on my channel and um, if you're interested just email me and um, my email is always in my description box let me know so I can send you an ATC and you can send me one back and I would just I would love to collect them you know it's a lot of fun and anybody can do it you do not have to be a paper crafter to send an ATC card so I'm gonna take a drink of this I've never had apple cranberry before not bad not bad at all but anyway um, yeah I'm hoping to do more of these teas um, I really wanted to try the blueberry muffin um, I can't remember red rose I think does it and it's apple pie and lemon cake and a few others that I really want to try <laughs> so hey aim is gonna send me a few teas to test out 
So I'm really excited about that. And I really didn't mean for this video to go out this late. It's just uh, a lot kind of going on. And um, I spent all day trying to get some happy mail out. And then my stepmom and my mom's Mother's Day presents out. So I was making sure that was taken care of because I wanted them to get it in time. They don't, they only live like maybe an hour and a half away. Both of them do from me. So, I mean, they'll get it in a couple days, but I really, really wanted to get it out. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm really chatty, huh? I'm just really chatty. So, I'll be sure to link up Patty and Kathy's uh, YouTube channel and Hey Aim. And um, Hey Little Missy, I believe, does it. I can't remember who else. Um, I'll try and see if I can get those out. So if the video goes up before I get those out, I'm just going to edit um, my description box and I'll put those in there so you guys can go check out their tea time too. Um, I don't know what else. I've just been jabbering about my ETCs. Yeah, I'm right now I'm just trying to... I'm in a collaboration and it is um, Spring Mother's Day collab hosted by Life with Patty and... Kathy's favorite things and last weekend was memory decks cards and now so this Sunday I believe is altering an item which I'm still writing things down to see what I want to do I'm hoping to start on that tomorrow if I can when I go to bed tonight I'm going to go through some things and see what I can find to what I want to do and then the third week is altering a hoop I've done that before, but I really wanted to do something different because I made that a shaker and I'm just not good with shakers and it took me a while and it kind of stressed me out and I don't want this type of stuff to stress me out. That's not what it's there for, you know. I think I just need to sit down one day and just try and get more comfortable with making shaker cards and shakers. It is what it is, right, people? <laughs> so, anyway, it's already 17 minutes, and I only wanted to be on here for 10. Um, so much to say, and talking really fast, and boy, time goes by really fast on here, doesn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. This is really good tea, though. Not so much of a snack. I don't have, really, I had an Atkins bar earlier. But since I'm on keto, I can't really eat the stuff that everybody else is eating. I wish I could because some of the stuff they have is, looks really good. So next time I'm just going to save my tea time for like a keto or an Atkins bar, Atkins bar or something. Um, something with keto in it. And I'm going to try and film it a day before or something before so this doesn't you know, take too much time from you guys. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining me for my tea time, tea time Tuesday. And if you want to jump in, um, just put the hashtag in there. So Patty and Kathy can find you and whoever else is doing the tea, um, can find you as well. So anyway, guys, please, uh, stay safe out there. Um, you know, be kind and stay blessed. Bye, everyone. See you later.